Hello everyone. This is in continuation to our topic linear programming problem. In this video, we'll understand how do we formulate a minimization type of problem. And this problem is related to diet problem. Uh, question is, Aditya forms uses at least 363. Minimum. 363 kgs of special feed daily. The special feed is a mixture of corn and soya bean meal with the following compositions. Composition is given uh, how much of uh, uh, protein required uh, per kg of this feed stuff corn and how much of fiber required in per kg of this corn, how much of uh, protein required in soya meat, soya bean, and how much of fiber required in soya bean, all in kg per kg of this feed stuff. And the cost of this feed stuff is also being given. The dietary requirements of the special feed are at least, again here, at least, so here it is minimum 30% protein. This dietary requirements of the special feed means on the total special feed, whatever we are planning, in that 30% protein and at most means maximum. This is max. Aditya forms wishes to determine the minimum daily minimum cost feed mix. Formulate this as a linear programming problem. So we'll consider the quantity of uh, quantity in kg of corn as x, soya bean as y. Here they say the uh, dietary requirements. They say 30% uh, protein at least minimum. So 0.3-30% of this quantity x and y and uh, fiber they say 5%. So 0.05 times x plus y. This is requirements. Now we need to formulate the linear programming problem. Primarily, uh, we are supposed to minimize the co total cost feed. Let us understand the total cost. Total cost of both the feed stuffs will become z, I'll call it as z, will be uh, 23 times x because per rupees the cost is sorry per kg the cost is rupees 33 for corn 68 for soya bean so if it is x units or x kgs it is 23 times x and 68 times y so our objective is to our objective is to minimize set which is equal to this 23x plus 68y and there are some constraints what are the constraints it is already given in the question we'll see one by one subject to what one is uses at least 363 kgs of special feed means if i add this corn and soya bean that is x plus y it should not exceed sorry it should be minimum 363 it, it minimum it should be 363 kgs means subject to x plus y greater than or equal to 363 that is the first constraint then the second one if we look into it is uh, 0 0.04 times x 0 0.04 times x plus means protein requirement we are calculating 0 0.04 times x plus 0.27 times y they say at least minimum so this should be greater than or equal to 0 0.3 times x plus y so we can rewrite this as 0 0.04 times x, 0.27 times y, greater than or equal to 0 0.30 times x plus 0 0.30 times y. Again, 
rewriting this, I can take this 0 0.04 times x to the other side. The 0 0.3 minus 0 0.04, it will become 0 0.26. And then I can take this to the other side, it becomes 0 0.30 minus 0.27, it will become 0 0.03 times y since this everything has come this side this side it will be zero that means zero greater than or equal to this expression means this will be less than or equal to zero that is the second constraint then let me call this as constraint one this is our constraint two now further 0 0.27 uh, sorry 0 0.01 times x plus 0 0.03 times y 0 0.01 times x plus 0 0.03 times y that has to be at most means uh, maximum it can be 0 0.05 means it should be less than or equal to 0 0.05 times of x plus y. Again expanding this let me call this as I will write it later after simplifying it. Yeah. 0 0.01 times x plus 0 0.03 times y less than or equal to 0 0.05 times x plus 0 0.05 times y. So if I take these two things to the right hand side, what will happen? It will become uh, 0 0.04 times x plus 0 0.02 times y this side it will be zero this side this expression that means this is greater than or equal to zero that is our third constraint so one two three are the three different constraints again both this x and y are quantity it cannot take negative values so i will specifically write explicitly we are writing the negative non-negativity restrictions so this is non negativity restrictions then i will say here one two three are the constraints then this is our objective function so we already formulated the problem because we got the objective function we got three constraints and we also specified explicitly the non-negativity restrictions. So that is the solution for uh, this particular problem. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.